Today we're at Exodus chapter 1, verses 18 to 21. So the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing and let the boys live? The midwives said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous and give birth before the midwife can get to them. So God was good to the midwives, and the people multiplied and became very mighty. Because the midwives feared God, he established households for them. So the Hebrews continue to multiply in spite of Pharaoh's command. Pharaoh holds their lives in his hands. He can kill them, he can punish them, he can torture them. And so he calls the midwives to account. So let's ask this question, did they disobey Pharaoh? And the answer is, huh, yes, it is. They feared God, they respected God's views of life compared to Pharaoh's view of, of life. They even respected the lives of these little, these little babies, these little infants just being born. They counted that as more valuable and due to be protected than their own lives. Because now, you know, they've been called in before Pharaoh and, you know, they may, they may be ended. Pharaoh may just end them. Every one of us should take stock of where we stand. Here's Pharaoh. He's got the power of the state behind him. He's asserting his authority to countermand God's authority. Now, a leader can assert that he has the right or he has the power. He can do this. He can do that. He can say all day long he's got that right or power. But in the end, you know, he either does or doesn't legitimately have that power. And, you know, you and I, we should always be careful. We should always be uh, aware of what authority somebody has and what authority they don't have because at the end of the day, you know, it's God's authority versus other authorities, human authority. And if we don't have clarity about that, I mean, terrible things can happen. Terrible things happen in Nazi Germany uh, with with this So uh, and in, in other places. So we need to always be clear. Even in the church where we expect God's authority to be respected, we need to be careful and wise and listen and remember and say, you know, hey, does this president have this authority? Does this pastor have this authority? Does the, does the head elder have this authority? So the Hebrew midwives give this kind of interesting answer to Pharaoh. Well, the reason that this is happening is because the Hebrew women are different than the Egyptian women. You know, when we go to the Hebrew women, they boom, you know, the babies just, they just kind of pop out instantly. And before we get there, the, uh, it's already happened. Everything's already been done. So before we've even arrived, they have the babies. And meanwhile, the Egyptian women are, are different. And how much of this, how true is this? Is this technically true? It could be technically true because perhaps the midwives uh, gave instructions about how to do things and then they did come later. That could be, we, we don't really know. But I'll tell you what's interesting here is the way they told this, it's, it's actually rather uh, carefully thought out. It's, it sounds kind of hokey off, off the top, but remember, Pharaoh's been busy dehumanizing, dehumanizing the Hebrews. These are bad people, they're not fit to live. Uh, they're just a problem. Everything about them is messed up. And this is the kind of line Pharaoh has been giving. And so when Pharaoh hears, yeah, the, the Hebrew women, they're kind of like rabbits, you know, they just, they're just giving birth all over the place all the time before we even get there. That was sort of a way of, of fulfilling Pharaoh's, yeah, Pharaoh begins to eat his own Wheaties, you know, he's, he's taking his own spin and he's beginning to think of Hebrews as less and less human. And so when he hears that, he goes, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, these Hebrew women, that's just the way they are, you know. And so, at the end of the day, they, they tell this thing. Now, another question is, what authority did Pharaoh have? Did Pharaoh have authority to command those women to kill those babies? Did he? And see, when you're the president or the leader or the Pharaoh or the king, can you just tell people, okay, kill those babies. I'm the king. Kill the babies. Any questions? Do you have that authority? Friend, people don't have that authority. Nobody has authority to go out and kill babies like that. I don't care what the president says. So did they owe him an honest answer? Well, we try to always give honest answers. We do know Pharaoh overextended his authority. We know these women feared God, and we know that, that God rewarded them. They were given families, and God rewarded their faithfulness to the kingdom. God rewarded their faithfulness to his values of upholding life instead of, instead of murder. And so there you have this very interesting incident. This is a First, really, one of the first really uh, responses to oppression in the Bible. These women are, in some interesting way here, they are rejecting. They're going against the state. They're going against Pharaoh. Friend, I hope you and I will be just as clear when we're faced with life or death kinds of questions like this, and that we will fear God more than we will fear men, that we will be like the Hebrew midwives.